um, exploration in a given situation can hardly be regarded as complete until the tendencies and theories that struggle for predominance in that situation have been organized to make internal conflict and emotional upheaval cease. So what he's saying is exploration is not complete until you know how to act in a given situation. Because when you go into something new, you're going to have all these different competing ways that you can do something. He's mm -hmm. claiming that exploration isn't done until you know which one of those ways works. Mm, okay. That's kind of what I thought he was getting out of it. How do you feel about it? Um, I mean, I will definitely say, I feel like I need to move the mic just a little away from me because my voice is very boomy right now. Um, one, I agree with him for sure. But I think that might be an, an uncommon approach, mm -hmm. even though like, I totally agree. Like, I don't think you're done learning about the unknown until you figure out the best way to like handle the situation that was before Because you. otherwise there's still some unknown there. Right, exactly. But I feel like a lot of people go into it and go like, ouch, that hurt. Or like, oh, that was uncomfortable. And they, and they leave and they're done. And I think that's a mistake a lot of people end up making mm -hmm. is when they do something that scares them or makes them uncomfortable, they leave before they've finished the journey. And I think that's probably one of the biggest mistakes you can make because mm -hmm. then you're just destined to do it again or fail until you do do it again. Right. And I think it's really interesting that he points out emotional upheaval mm -hmm. because, I mean, I think he's saying that if you're doing something, even if you think you, you know what you're supposed to do, if you're anxious about it and you're stressed about it, then maybe the exploration is not complete. Yeah. Okay. My voice is just getting deeper. It's getting, yeah. I'm Drink sorry. Some water, bro. I, I don't know if that's going to help, but. So water given, break. given that last one, yeah, part of like exploration, um, Accommodation to new information is an integral part of the exploratory process. An anomaly has not been processed until the pre-existent interpretive schemas extant prior to its emergence have been reconfigured to take its presence into account. So another part of the exploratory process isn't only knowing how to act successfully, um, but it's also accommodating your previous thoughts and the ways you thought the world was to the new thing that you've learned. Mm, okay. I think that one's really key because I think that's something that maybe people can struggle with. Mm -hmm. um, I know you and I have talked about it before, the idea that even if people are exposed to something new, um, they won't let it influence them at all. They won't take it in mm -hmm. as new information and maybe let it change the way that they think. Mm. Dude, we totally talked about this today. Mm -hmm. And specifically, we, like we just talked about I shared my thoughts about it with like church mm -hmm. where like we can say like, oh, well, you know, go check out church, just try it, et cetera, et cetera. Give God a chance, you know, but the, the core problem, you agreed with me, right? I want to make sure that you agreed yeah, yeah. with what I said. Um, the core problem is that you can't just give church a try because if you just fundamentally disagree with everything you're going to go to a place that just tells you that you're wrong. So unless you're willing to allow that to change you, you're just going to walk out of there either saying, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't care. Or be like, Oh, this isn't, this is dumb. Like they think I'm wrong. So that that's like the hard thing about going to church. So I think if you are interested in going to church, go to church, knowing that it's going to oppose a lot of your views because it opposed a lot of mine. Mm. for sure it opposed a lot of my views for like it's a dude i like i promise it took me like a month or two before i was like fully committed to like everything our pastors were saying hmm. it like it took me a while like some of the stuff they'd say i'd be like um i don't know because i had lived so long and not in opposition to god i always kind of had that mm -hmm. indifference know, yeah you know the whole kind of like well god's real okay yeah that makes sense and, and then that right, yeah. yeah so it's like indifference is a good word um but i mean i don't think you shouldn't go to church if you've never been or if you're even skeptical i think you absolutely should but i mean know that when you go there it's gonna 
it's going to challenge what you think. Mm -hmm. And I think that can be said for a lot of things like Jordan Peterson saying, when you go to experience something new, it's going to challenge what you think. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, and that's not a bad thing. No, absolutely not. It's not a bad thing because that's, well, that's what learning is. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, that's the whole process of learning. We touch fire because our current understanding is either nothing or that might be soft because it kind of looks that way. You know what I like? Fire looks soft. Like, come on. It looks soft. That's so like point. you totally touch it because you're like, it's glowy. So it's pretty to the eyes and it looks soft. It looks like my teddy bear. So like, I'm going to touch it and it mm. totally challenges what you think of it. And that's such a fundamental viewpoint, right? So now take that and apply that to anything else that challenges your view. Am I saying that everything that challenges your view is going to be correct? No, that's just not how it works, especially when it comes from people. Because people, we all make mistakes. It's not that some people do intentionally mislead you and other people don't. Like some people are just, they're making a mistake. I mean, even Jordan Peterson in his youth made plenty of mistakes i mean he admits it right Mm -hmm. so like and we know jordan peterson's brilliant so even brilliant men make mistakes when i'd say that's the only way he got to be brilliant exactly so i think knowing that things are going to challenge your point of view is one thing but being okay with your viewpoint being challenged is a different thing and that is a challenge unto itself and that's also hey i got another quote for you Listener likes, comments, and subscribes down below. And if you understood any of my word salad, go ahead and click the link below for a full video and a five-course meal. Thanks for watching.